Hey there everyone. This is Tyler from Ragdoll Studios. You can look at you can find us at uh, www.ragdollanimation.com or YouTube or Vimeo or any of our social media websites listed on the bottom of this video. All right, so this vi this tutorial is about how to make this low poly effect, this look and feel not gonna make exactly what I did here for Lighthouse Media because it was for somebody but uh, I'll show you how to make something kind of kind of like this look and feel I'll just play this animation if you haven't seen it I'll give you a link so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some uh, uh, the sky, maybe water and some mountains. All right, let's jump right in. First things first, go to my render settings, go my HD version, which is 1920. I'm gonna get rid of save. Uh, I don't need to do save any multi passes. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of ambient occlusion as well. I will put it on at the final render, but for now, don't need it. <coughs> Move it over here. All right, so let's get started. Let's create a sphere. This sphere will be called the sky. And we're going to make it super big. So big, it's bigger than where the camera is. Uh, it seems like it's good enough right there. 600, 700. 700 inches. Gonna create a camera. We're gonna make that a child of the sky. We're gonna just zero everything out so it goes right in the middle. <coughs> and we're gonna use this camera to map this sky. So we're just going to call it sky texture. Sky texture. No. Map. Sky map. So we're just going to leave that as, as is right for right now. Go ahead and save it. Um, I'm going to save it as uh, low poly. Low poly scene, whatever you'd like. We're gonna make another sphere. Make it a little, make it pretty big. We're also going to uh, actually go back to the sky real quick. We're gonna up these segments like 60. All right. So go back to the sphere, the new sphere that we made, and and go to the Fong tag. And then press and make it zero, so it makes it all, so none of the uh, edges are smooth. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go to tetrahedron. Yep, that way they're all triangles. You could try, you could try this one, octo oct octahedron, or isohedron, but we want something kind of random, which is this. Um. So we're also going to up these segments by 60, 50, all right, I think 40 is good enough. We're going to make this an edible poly. I'm going to save it real quick. Edible poly, press C, and it makes an edible poly. We're going to scale it down this way. <coughs> and now we need to delete the whole bottom half. We don't need that. Um, Actually, let's go back because we can cut it. Sphere, and then go to. Um, I guess we can't cut it because it's not a. It's not a perfect. Right? We should be able to cut it. Octahedron. Oh well. So let's press C. Let's get it done. Then we're going to change it to one of the sides. We'll pick this one, the right side. We're going to highlight all of these. 
edges. We're just going to delete it. First, we're going to click down here so it selects everything. <clears throat> everything that's not visible. Oops. Boom. We're going to go back, click there, and then we're going to go back. Alright, so now the bottom shouldn't even be there. Okay, so what we'll do now is scale it even more. So we're gonna highlight everything, scale it down some more. We're gonna hold down you hold down shift, it brings it down in increments. And that's at zero, so it's like it so it's super flat, but we don't want that. We want it maybe ten percent, so Okay, so these will be the hills, <clears throat> and you notice that the original, the, the rest of the dots, the rest of the vertices are still there. I'm going to highlight everything. We can just highlight and delete, but I'll show you another, another trick. Highlight everything, right click, go to optimize, and it gets rid of everything. So basically what optimize does, if you push this button, is, is it takes everything within this and deletes it. So if if it's like everything within 20 inches or lower, it deletes it. Anything within 50 inches or lower, deletes it. In this case, it's 0.004 inches. So that's that's just default by default. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna get rid of the sky for right now because it can get distracting. So we're gonna go to MoGraph Effector. And there's many different ways to do this, but this is one way you can. Random. That's not it. We'll graph effector random. Uh, basically, it's putting, a, uh, it's moving all the vertices randomly throughout the uh, entire scene once you go to deformer. And then you hit point. But we don't want that. We want to put it right here. That's not it. What's wrong there? I'll show you. So, so the effector, if you go to the random effector, go to the effector, um, we want to go to parameter, I'm going to bring this up a bit. We're just going to go ahead and zero out everything. <clears throat> and then we're going to go in the Z axis, which is up and down. Uh, yeah, up and down. Uh, if you right click on any type of slider like this, it puts it by the puts it back to the default. So we're gonna go up. So it's looking it's kind of looking like uh what it should be, but we're gonna fix it up some more. So we are going to go to Effector. We're going to adjust. Um, hmm, let's see, what do we want? We want to go to the fall off, but I also want to do. Eh, we'll go to fall off. We'll make it a cas cylinder. Now eh, we'll make it a cap capsule. Alright, so now we're going to make this capsule bigger, so it only affects what's inside of it. We're going to rotate it, pressing shift. I'm going to bring it up. Kind of put it like that. It's going to bring it way up. That way, the edges are all um, flat, and only the insides are uh, mountainy. Just the fall off. No. No. I'm gonna keep that fifty percent. <coughs> um, we're going to now leave it as is. I'll just kind of go to the effector and crank it up. That way they're super jaggedy. So now, if you don't like this 
what it looks like you can change the seed so I'm going to change the seed to something that I like I like that that's pretty good alright now what we're going to do is we're going to select the outsides by going to select and then outline and it selects the outsides we're going to right click extrude and just ex kind of extrude it downwards boom extrude down way down maybe it was too, a little too much that's okay <coughs> You notice that when when you're touching up the 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 polygon, it it hides what's what's childed in it, which is weird. Childed? That's a weird word. Uh, but it's okay. You just click off of it and it goes away. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to this random effector. And I'm gonna doink it off. It's still there, but in the viewport, it's not. Uh, it's it kind of gets annoying to me. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the the sky map um, camera as well. So next, what we're gonna do? We're gonna just oh, we didn't name this. This was this is called mountains. <coughs> we're gonna hold down control so it makes a copy and put it on top we're gonna we're going to get rid of the random effector call this uh, uh, water and now we're going to move it down way down here we're gonna click on the edges which already has what we had selected last and we're just gonna delete it because we don't need it now. We're going to make it bigger, a lot bigger. And this these will be this will be the water that's kind of swooshing swashing um around the whole thing. So I think that's big enough. Let's make it a little bit bigger. <coughs> Alright, so same thing. For MoGraph effector. Random. Boom, put it under the water. Go to the former, uh, fault. Yeah, the former. Wait. It makes everything all random. But that is what we want because it's going to be the water. So we're going to go to the parameters. <coughs> and just bring them down. Because unless you want super crazy waters which I personally don't but you can if you want uh, we'll make it like 5 by 5 by 5 we're gonna go back to the water I'm gonna go ahead and highlight everything go to <coughs> go to tools I'll go to mesh command subdivide so it chops it up into even more little bits, and that's what I wanted. There we go. Now I'll bring it down even some more. Okay. So I'm just gonna make some quick textures real quick. Just gonna name that water, put that here, just make it blue. Color it's the blue that you like. I'm just gonna make it that that. <clears throat> that blue, but we're going to desaturate it a bit. We're gonna hold down Control to duplicate it. Call this other one. Um, mountains. Drag it on there. <clears throat> Double click that, and we're just going to scrub it down to the green so it keeps the same hue or saturation but we're changing the hue 
I want to bring it down a bit like that. Boom. <coughs> and then that's good enough for now. I'm going to save it real quick. Alright, and now click off of that. We're going to go back to the water. Back to the water. With a random effector. We're going to go to effector. Click on turbulence. And basically what that does is it adds a um, animation to it. So if you press the, the play button which is F8. It's going nuts. That's not how water works. That's okay. I think I changed it down to like 10%. Change it like 20% so we can, you know, see it. Cool. I'm gonna change the scale down to 10%. 5%. It's kind of playing around with it. 50% looks good. <clears throat> We're gonna go to the parameters and change it up to 10 so we can like see it some more. Cool. Press F8 to stop. <clears throat> and then, next what we're gonna do is we're going to go to that sky. I knew it was gonna cover the camera. So we're gonna zoom in a bit. Um, oh, so we'll get rid of the water in the middle unless you like that water in the middle I kinda like that so if I play it yeah it gives it like a little uh, crevice in there never mind I was gonna just so what I was gonna do is um, just select everything in the middle and just straight up delete it if you want to you can do that but I kinda like that it's pretty cool um, alright and of course if you really don't like uh, what's going on with the random effect effector you can bake it by right clicking and I'll just do it real quick I'm gonna make a duplicate I'm gonna right click a duplicate I'm gonna remove my, my uh, old one right click current state object and then you where is it? Don't want that. I want this one. You can grab whatever point, put it over there, grab this point, you're like, oh I want this to be a hill. You know, like I want this to be a hill. Or if you don't like any any of the ones that are like way down there, you can move them up. That's what I did. That's 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 for fine tuning after you do all of this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Delete that. Put that back. Alright, so we're going to go to the sky, which is right there. I'm going to bring in the sky just so it's. Alright, now I'm going to make the water bigger so it hits so it hits the I'm gonna press S there we go so it hits the edge I wanted it to poke out all around and it looks like it okay 